Hey guys, I've been getting a lot of questions about the app Tasker and how it works. So I'm giving you a basic look at the app and what it can do for you. In my opinion, Tasker is one of the most powerful apps available on Android today. It can really take the meaning of smartphone to another level and it's one of my favorites. Now the app itself doesn't exactly have what I call a friendly UI and it can look a little daunting at first, which does turn a lot of users away. But once you get used to it, it makes a lot of sense. So as always guys, the links are available in the description. So yeah. Let's check it out. So diving into the app, you can see what I mean by not exactly a user-friendly UI. There isn't really a tutorial on how to use it or anything like that. At the top, we have four tabs, profiles, tasks, scenes, and vars, which stands for variables. If you only have three tabs, turn off beginner mode in the settings. Profiles is the actual trigger for the task to run. So this is gonna be, for example, your application, day, your event, location, state, or time. This, like I said, is the actual trigger that's gonna go ahead and run the task. So if we just go into the state here, you can have loads of different options for a trigger. For example, when the power's plugged in, when the battery level is low, you can have it when your data is connected, when your Bluetooth is connected. Pretty much anything you can think of can be a trigger here, location or anything like that. There's loads of different things here you can mess around with. So uh, you'll just have to go through those and see which one you prefer. But just for the purposes of this video, we'll try something simple and we'll try an application. You can choose multiple apps here, but I'm just gonna choose one to make it simple right now. And that's it, we'll press back. And now when I go into calendar, that'll be my trigger. So now we need a task. You see it pops up with a new task. If you press it, you can name your task. So we'll call it Wi-Fi for now, or actually Wi-Fi on and uh, we'll spell it right, of course, and then we'll hit the tick. Now, this is the actual task, so this is the thing that's actually gonna perform an action like turning Wi-Fi off. So if we press the plus here, there's, again, loads of different options you can choose, but if you know you're looking for Wi-Fi, you can just go ahead and type in Wi-Fi in the filter. It'll give you all the Wi-Fi options, and we're gonna set it to off. So at the moment it's on off, you can see you had the options for on and toggle. We'll leave it for off. So there you go, that's the first task. It's gonna turn my Wi-Fi off. We can add multiple things here as well, so we're just gonna mess around with a few more. We'll turn my display brightness up quite a bit here so you can actually notice it when it happens. And yeah, we'll also go ahead and turn my Bluetooth off as it's currently on. So again, just type in blue or just start typing in blue and there it is, Bluetooth off. So that's what we're gonna do. There you go, they're the three options in the task that it's gonna run when I go into the calendar. So let's go ahead and try that out. Okay, here we go. And yep, my Wi-Fi and Bluetooth have turned off. And as I'm sure you can tell, my brightness has gone up. So that task worked. If we go ahead and exit the app, it restores back to the previous settings. You can see my Bluetooth turns on, my Wi-Fi turns on, and the brightness goes back to the normal levels. So that's a very simple task, a profile. You can add multiple triggers for a task. So if you want, for example, the calendar open and the power to be plugged in for the task to run, you can just go ahead and add that. And you'll now need both of those attributes to be true for it to actually run the task. Okay. So we're gonna get a little bit more complicated here, but it allows for more control over your tasks. So let's go back to the task I just created for Wi-Fi on. Now let's take Bluetooth. Right now it's on and connected to my Pebble smartwatch. So what if I only want Bluetooth to turn off if it isn't connected to my smartwatch? So in other words, if my Bluetooth is connected to my watch, I don't want Tasker to turn off my Bluetooth. It's possible using an if command. So if we tap into Bluetooth and use if, now, there are default variables here, but this isn't really going to solve my issue as they're just too vague. So we need to create our own variable, but first we need to have a profile to recognize when the watch is connected. So go back to the profiles tab, press the plus, then state, followed by choose BT connected. If you leave it blank, it will just be for all connected devices, which we don't want. So press the search icon, on the name, there's my Pebble watch, so we'll click that. Do the same for address, and yeah, that's it. We now need to add a task which will be our variable. So we'll tap the new task button, and we'll call this Pebble Var. Once that's done, we have a new task to make. So go ahead and press the plus button. Now you want to go ahead and search variable. And what we're looking for here is variable set. So if you can just put var, you should see variable set. There it is right there. So we'll tap that. And now you need to create the name for the variable. So we're just gonna go ahead and call this smartwatch. Make sure you put it in capitals, otherwise you will have some issues later on. So basically what we're doing here is when my smartwatch is connected, we're gonna set the variable to, and we'll just choose something simple like one. One. So when it's connected, it's gonna set my variable to one. That way we can use the variable later on to tell Tasker when the smartwatch is connected. Now, if you head over to Vars, you can see there's a variable, it's currently set to one. Now we also need it to clear the variable when it isn't connected. Otherwise, even when it's disconnected, it will still show one and Tasker will think it's still connected. So head back over to your profiles tab, tap and hold the task and add an exit task. And this is as simple as it sounds. Basically when it disconnects, it's gonna run this task. So we need to create a new task now, and this is where we're gonna clear the variable. So we'll just call this pebble var clear 
And for this task, we want to hit the plus and just search var again. And this time we're looking for variable clear. There it is on the top of the list. Now just go ahead and press that little tag mark and pick your variable and that's it. It's now going to clear that variable when it disconnects from my smartwatch. So when it connects to my smartwatch, it's going to change the variable to one. And when it disconnects, it's going to clear the variable. So we can now use this in a task. And if you just want to see that in action to see if it's working, we'll just we'll turn my Bluetooth on right now because I just quickly turned it off. And if we head over to the VARS tab, you can see it's just gone green, which shows it is using that uh, profile. You can see the variable has been set to one. So if we go ahead and turn my Bluetooth off now, which means it will be disconnected from my smartwatch, it should be using the exit task. And if we then go ahead and check the VARS, you'll see the variable is now cleared. Now going back to our original task, we can now incorporate this variable, so go into Bluetooth, use the if command, you can tap the uh, tag and use the variable we just created, the smartwatch, and yeah, set the sign to doesn't match and type 1. So what we're actually saying here is turn Bluetooth off if my smartwatch variable doesn't equal 1, and we know not equaling 1 means it isn't connected. So you can see it's currently green here because I'm not connected, so it would turn the Bluetooth off. If we go ahead and turn this on, you'll see it's now red, so it won't turn my Bluetooth off because my smartwatch is connected. So if we try this for real now, we'll go into the calendar, you'll see my Wi-Fi turns off, my brightness increases, but my Bluetooth stays on because I am connected to my smartwatch. And that's why we added that variable, so we could tell Tasker when my smartwatch was connected. So there you go, guys. That was a little bit more complicated than the first task, but using variables is a very powerful tool with Tasker. So I've shown you how to create profiles and tasks and how to use if commands and variables. With those four things, you can create some really awesome profiles and hopefully you guys understood that I tried to be as clear as possible otherwise you might have to go back and watch this video again but you can also check out some examples by going into the overflow menu and hitting browse examples they're listed by kind of intermediate beginner and expert and there's loads of different profiles here people have created you can do so many things with this honestly you can even have it check your speed and if you're going a certain speed you can have it open an application and press play on your music that's how powerful this application is so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that I hope you understood it let me know what you guys think peace out